Hey guys, this is Amir Net with my buddy May, and today we're going to talk about a new custom visualization that you're going to find here in the Power BI Visuals Gallery, and this is the World Cloud Visualization. The World Cloud Visualization is fantastic when you have unstructured data, and today the world is just full of unstructured data. Tweets, great example. So what you have here is a set of tweets that we actually recording, recorded on Friday, uh, mentioning Power BI. And you can see here the tweets, and you can see here uh, even who is the author name. That's kind of a very old traditional way to look at unstructured data. What if we can just go and look at it in a more creative way? It really show us the power of the words. And this is where the word cloud is coming in. And you can see here this new icon. This is the word cloud icon for the custom visualization that we downloaded from the visual gallery. And when I select this table here and I apply word cloud, and voila, immediately I get the word cloud. Now, notice the more popular the words are, the larger they will show up in the visual. Notice another thing here is that some of the words here are um, are not necessarily very interesting words. For example, the most common words we have in this word cloud are the word to and the word the. And that's because we haven't told the system to remove those white space words. Mm -hmm. So we can do that. The word cloud has that ability. And we can go in here to the visual so I want to go here to stop words, and I'm going to turn the stop words on. I can actually tell it can either specify my own words. I could say here use two, uh, and I can see the word two and the word v disappears from the word cloud. Or I can just say hey, use the default set of stop words that we have, and immediately all of them are gone. And now we can see the word bi and Microsoft and SSRS are showing up very prominently on the on the word cloud. So that's uh, one thing we can do here. The other thing that you can do here is just kind of make it a bit more exciting. So you can go and change the look of the visual by using rotated text. So I'm going to turn on rotated text into on. And when I do that, notice that now we have it a more condensed and more interesting visualization. And the way it works is that you can specify the angles, the minimum angle and the maximum angle that you want and how many variants you want. If I want to have, for example, four different angles, I can just change it to four. And when I do that, I get a very different visual. Uh, just a beautiful way to create an interesting visualization. I can turn it back here to the this straight. Very, very nice. I can also control the sizes of the text. So maybe I want to go up to 180 instead of, you know, so now look at the word Microsoft became much larger. Uh, so you have a lot of control here over the look and the feel of the visual phenomenon. Now notice what happened here. Originally, we started with simply a, a set of text and, and you can see here, this is text. And what happened is the word cloud broke the text down to the individual words. But what if I don't want it to break down? Now let's take a look at another example here. I want to look at the names of the people that were mentioned here. Actually, let's just make it a bit more beautiful. We can return back so to what we had before. Here you go. Uh, so you see here, these are the people who authored the, the tweets or were mentioned in the tweets. And what we want to do is we want to, to create a word cloud for those. Now, if I go just the default way, what I'm going to get here is a bunch of first names and last names, and but that's really not, not what I want. I actually want to get the full name showing up. So what I can do is I can turn off the word breaking. You can see it here, and now you can see that I get the full names. Now, the way it works is you see that all the names are showing up at exactly the same size. And the reason why we're seeing all the names at exactly the same size is that simply they, we just provided a name. As, as we know, Power BI will just provide the distinct list of names. In fact, if we go back to the table, you can see exactly what Power BI has. It just has shows a distinct list of names. What we need to do is provide some kind of a measure to Power BI to tell it what is the frequency of each one of those. So I want to go back here and I'm, I'm going to add the number of mentions here. And now we can see that different people are, you know, Jen, our superstar, she's showing up here as, you know, most mentions. And Christopher Finland, uh, also a lot of uh, mentions. And we have some of our prominent members of our community showing up as well. So fantastic job, everybody here. So you can see the power. You can, we don't have to break the words. Sometimes we just would like to use it instead of a, maybe a bar chart. It's just a much better way to show who is who are the most dominant people we have here. So that's the word cloud, a beautiful new visualization. Enjoy it.